Yo guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a working TV for your Gorilla Tag fan game. Okay? So first, you're going to want to join the Discord server, my hangout center. And you're going to scroll down, go to Unity Packages, press TV, download this. Go to Unity. And then go to your files, drag it in of into your Gorilla Tag fan game's assets, like this. Then you're gonna wanna press all, and then import. Wait for everything to import. Then you're gonna see this open up. Open it. And, um, press. You're going to see TV. Then you want to kind of drag that right here. And then you're going to see TV over here. And then... As you can see, the TV is here. I forgot to say that you had to go to the scenes to get it. This is going to be your TV. See, there's an on and off button. It says TV on and then TV off. So, and then the only thing you want to do is you want to click on the TV on. Then there's gonna, then you're gonna see video clip right here. You want to go to assets, just like import new asset. You can do like, I don't know. I'm just gonna say Roblox video for example. Then you want to import it. And then go to TV on, press the plus button, and then boom, you'll see your video. It doesn't work with all videos, but yeah. So after you do that, whenever you load into the game, you wait, actually, you gotta press play on a wake, you gotta turn that off. And then loop, you wanna turn that on. Then press the play button. And then, as you see, it's currently not playing. But if I move the Gorilla Rig to the Enable button, how do I? Now, if I do the left hand controller, But yeah, whenever you press the enable button, because I clearly can't press it, since the hitbox is more in the middle. Um, but whenever you would press it, um, this would the screen would be enabled. So basically, if I press play it on awake, TV off would be disabled. But yeah. So that's going to be the end of today's